opens. Now that I have saved Mr. Banks, on to a new challenge. Goodbye, Mary Poppins. Poor Bert. I'll wager a tuppence that he begins chasing the dragoon and never makes it off the street. I'm headed across the pond to fix another dysfunction. The American education system. From the top 1% to the bottom. Shouldn't take me long. Probably just hunters. Oh, if not, a cannonball. Very much like the boarding school of my youth. Oh, with some subtle differences. In my day, they had do's and bows. Is that student old enough to drive? Excuse me! Excuse me! Hmm. Excuse me. Can you please direct me to the Dean's office? Dean who? Nice outfit, Grandma. Is it gonna rain? I assume he is failing his etiquette class. Not to worry. I can assure you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this one thinks he's having tea on the ceiling with Uncle Albert. Remember what I told you. School days are for learning. Weekends are for diverting. On a school day, it is clear. Too many oxies are disturbing. <laughs> Very well then. Just sleep it off. <laughs> I have the drafts of your college entrance essays. Well done. Here's yours and yours. Uh, Mr. Evans, yours is dreadful. Please fire whomever wrote it and find a ghostwriter who is practically perfect in every way. Preferably one who can teach you there's a difference between an allowance and welfare. <laughs> no need to hurry, children. Your drivers are not going to leave for the Hamptons without you. It's not like they have to catch the bus. <coughs> These girls are so concerned with weighing less than a water biscuit, but they are going about it the wrong way. Ladies! If you must purge, it would be much more productive to do it after lunch. If you do have the urge and believe you should purge, by all means do what you feel, but you'll hear from more mass. If you wait for the class, immediately follows a meal. <coughs> all right, you are quite done. Wipe your face, young lady, and close your mouth now, please. We are not a codfish. Single file, please. Our students' diet is very important. Our meals are prepared by a celebrity chef, and our cafeteria ladies, as you say, used to serve at Buckingham Palace. It was quite difficult for them to transition from white gloves to hair nets. Oh, it's a jolly holiday at lunchtime. All the meals are low cal and light. All the vegans fear dairy. Our chef makes soy parfaits that are tight. Mm -mm. Oh, vegetables are cooking all around us. Organics are an entitlement for you. When you eat lunch here, you feel so grand. The cattle is free range and fed off the land. It's a jolly holiday at lunchtime. Even the gluten free meals we make with love. Six. Who wrote this drivel? Oh, it's too much even for me. Why did I even take this job? You wouldn't have given this to Julie Andrews. It's fuck this shit. Stealing chemistry supplies to make Molly. Prostituting yourself on Craigslist for kicks. Trolling the Bulimics Club. 
paying an Uber driver to attend your classes. Well, it's landed you all in detention. So, for the next hour, no speaking of any sort, phones away, no texting, not even to your personal assistants. This will teach you that none of you is above school rules. Mr. Blake, you may go. Your attorney pleaded your detention down to time served. <sighs> the rest of you might as well go too. Uh, I don't want to spend my afternoon up to my neck in appeals. As I understand it, other parents give their children enough Ritalin to get good grades, but not so much that I have to send them to rehab with my cheery cartoon penguins. Uh, penguins false alarm. I said false alarm pe penguins. No, no penguins. Are, don't Ow. give. No, you cannot do that. I told them that chokehold was illegal. Well, um, when he regains consciousness, you can see yourself to the door. have a secret to teaching math. Use examples they encounter in their everyday life, make it relatable, and snap! Learning's a game. Students, please read along. Braxton has a prescription of 24 Xanax per week. His girlfriend needs an abortion, but can't tell her parents because she just had one. And he can't tell his parents and ask them for money because he just crashed his father's midlife Maserati. How many Xanax must Braxton sell to pay for the abortion, yet still have enough to prevent the breakdown we all know is coming? From your intake information, I see that Mummy is 42, Daddy is 43, and you're asking for a friend whose parents are the same age as yours. How old the second wife needs to be. So it won't be pathological for him to hook up with his step-sibling. Hypothetical, my sweet Daria. I've done all I can here. I think my time would be better served with students less um, fortunate. My brush with American education has been quite tiring. I'm having trouble lifting off. Hmm. these wealthy children are on to something. Mm. Well, a uh, spoonful of Xanax makes the day go away. Day go away, day go away. Just a spoonful of Xanax makes the kids go away. Yes, I'm aware I'm being a little more Judy than Julie. Totally unlike my own school, landscaping could use some touching up. Need some basic janitorial upkeep. Mm, what is asbestos and why must we stick back? Mm, there is a lot of fencing. Hmm. Who are they trying to keep out? Or perhaps it's to keep the students in. And is that a metal detector? What is this big root? Well, Best roll up our sleeves and get to it. Anything can happen if you let it. Students, 
We can no longer afford a history teacher. Not to worry. I will be stepping in. So I will pass out our history textbooks. Huh. Let's see. Two textbooks. 42 of you. We will read and pass, read and pass. Spit spot. Hmm. Our budget crisis forced us sharing good manners and a quick wit. See, in today's class, we will cover um, Chinese history, uh, all 3,000 years of it in 14 minutes. I'm beginning to understand some of these national test scores. Students, I'm proud of you for being so brave in the face of the recent salmonella outbreak. Yeah. My word. Bert, jig on over here and clean this up. Okay, Mary Poppins. Our budget allows us to have a nurse for only 45 minutes per week. Most of you won't get to see her. <coughs> oh, dear. I have a simple remedy. Just... Ah, oh, spoonful of sugar helps the vomit stay down, the vomit stay down, vomit <coughs> stay down. Sing along, children. You'll feel better in no time. <coughs> Pet, please get a mop. Your chimney sweep just seems to be pushing it around. <coughs> have the library. By the afternoon it's usually a bit of a mess. Our librarian is still in rehab, so I'll just fly the books back to their proper places. <gasps> oh, young man and young lady, this is a place for study, not the rumble seat of a Duesenberg. So, zip up your pads, and for God's sake, go wash your hands. Uh, no, you cannot finish. Hormones. Now I know why the librarian drank. Hmm. Well, word in the schoolyard indicates that you're notorious for bogarting fat ass blunts of premium kush. I don't know what that means, but it sounds selfish. Hmm. Two weeks detention. To overcrowding, our school operates in shifts. The afternoon students have just arrived. Officer Johnson, we don't have time for full cavity searches today. You heard me. Put the plastic gloves away. Hmm. You can take the prison guard out of the penitentiary, but you can't. Uh, uh, Johnson! Don't taser the children! Thank you. Enrollment is up dramatically this year, but overcrowding is not a problem and you have portable classroom units. When the student population booms and overcrowding is concerning, you turn buses into classrooms and keep the students learning. lady. You're tweaked. Huh. That's it. Penguins. When our students are unscheduled to narcotics, we feel that they must be confined with our cherry cartoon penguins. Penguins, please isolate on your room until she comes down. Don't judge. <coughs> I won't do it. Because I don't see how it will help. Because I think it's ridiculous. Because I'm an educator, not any Oakley. As Americans say, I'm out. 
I'm off to see if Theresa May needs any help with Brexit. <laughs> Somehow I think that will be easier. Thank you.